My grandma gets an ice cup with no ice. I'm so happy. I just came home to this. Good morning. Do you see the smile on my face right now? That's because I'm having my first ever low dopamine morning. I have no words. I think the weather is also coming into play and making me happy right now. But I've been seeing on TikTok that low dopamine mornings have changed people's lives. And apparently the first thing that you do in the morning is something that your subconscious is gonna wanna do all day. So the first thing I did, open my eyes, the sun is shining, the birds are chirping. It was, it, I couldn't have picked a better morning. It's warm, the pool reflection is on my ceiling. It was phenomenal. I opened my eyes, I grab my journal, and I write three things that I'm thankful for in my life, and then I write three things that I want to manifest in my life, but I say it as if I'm thankful for them like I already have them, because apparently, I saw this on TikTok, your mind cannot differentiate, since it's only three things, what is real and what isn't. And then after that, I didn't go on my phone at all. I got up, I brushed my teeth, and I made my bed, and now I'm gonna go to the gym, and I'm not gonna go on my phone until after gym and I'm fucking excited. I feel so good. Obviously this is my first time. This obviously is proof that it actually works. So you're supposed to do low dopamine tasks. Basically making your bed, doing some chores, doing the dishes, really any chores I've been seeing that people are doing. Stuff that is just a mindless task that doesn't really stress you out. Like everyday things that you can do easily, but no phone, no phone, no phone. I've actually been in like the best place that I've, I think I've ever been. I've been in the best mind space in my life this past year so far. I'm really just working on like growing as a person and growing as an adult. So I'm just trying everything that can like possibly make me better you know and this I feel like it could definitely make me better it's definitely a challenge because I wake up every morning and scroll right on my phone like it's over there with so many juicy notifications you know what I'm saying but I don't need to go on it I can fucking wait it's not that serious <sighs> So now I'm gonna go to the gym, do some legs. It's Friday, I have nothing on my to-do list. I got everything done over the week. Beautiful outside and I have no idea what the day has ahead of me. And that's a beautiful thing. My grandma and my mom are out babysitting. So it's just me, my brother, and my sister home. Today is filled with so much opportunity. Okay, let's go to the gym. from the video because I need to show you the new clothes I got from White Fox Boutique. First off, you can use my code Brooke for 15% off White Fox Boutique. Second off, White Fox offers afterpay for all US, New Zealand, and Australian customers. They also offer worldwide shipping. I'm going to be showing you a bunch of clothes from White Fox, but they also have an activewear and a swimwear line, which are both amazing. Everything that I'm showing you will be linked in the description. Now let's get into the little haul. Don't worry, we're going to get back into the video right after this. First, I have this maroon top. I'm a maroon girly. I think this is such a pretty color. Can be worn with a tan but also looks really good on fair skin. We have the adjustable straps in the back, a zipper. We have these clamps in the front with a little lace lining on the chest. It goes down to about right underneath my belly button. I also got these pants that are obviously a little too long on me but I'm also 5'1". That's just how it goes around here. I love the chain detailing. Gives it a little flair. They're definitely a wide leg pant which I love they have big pockets and I'll be saying hi to everyone down there I was actually gonna pair this top with some low-rise pants but once I put this on I thought it looked really nice together how it just kind of laid over at a nice little angle it goes like right about to my hips this is a little denim piece with some buttons going down the center it has white stitching I thought this was really nice because I love the length of it so you can wear it the way I'm wearing it right now or pair it with perfectly aligned pants of low-rise pants. I love long corsets. I think it's such a cute look with a low-rise, like a tight, tight top with some baggy low-rise pants. Such a cute look. I'm loving it. Can we take a moment for this outfit? This skirt I needed. I thought this camo print was so cute. I love the colors. I felt that I could pair with this with a lot of things. And what's great about this is that it's really stretchy like as you can see here it stretches a lot like all throughout the side too so it's nice and comfy 
comfortable. We have cargo pockets, a little zip and a button. This is literally perfect, this skirt. And then this top is the main event. I have it tucked in right now, but it goes up to here. It's not a bodysuit. I also have this in black and it's my favorite shirt ever. It has this scoop neck. The straps get a little bit wider, which I think is really nice. The back goes up high. It feels honestly more comfortable than not wearing anything at all. Like, I feel better than when I feel naked right now. The material is literally the softest thing in the world. There's two layers to it. This is the bottom. And it's not see-through at all. And you know when I like something, I get multiple. So, of course, I got the pants. Love these pants so much. I also have, I'll show you right now, a pair of camo pants from White Fox right here, conveniently, that I am obsessed with. Same type of pant, but just a different print. I wore the crap out of these camo pants. So when I saw they had them in this type of print, I absolutely knew I needed them. They have this little loop right here. Big, big, big cargo pockets pockets in the back. They're not too tight on my waist. I get a size small and everything except for the joggers that I'm going to show you just because I like them a little bigger. Guys, I love this shirt. So it has a match on it and I'm a big match girl. It says made you look and then it says white fox. Established 2013 and again this is the perfect length shirt for a low rise pant. As you can see right here it looks so good. I'm definitely going to be living in this because it is basically just a simple black top with a little fun to it. It's neutral so you can really wear it with anything like it looks really cute with these pants in my opinion personally i think that these kind of shirts come in handy the most like this one and the white tank top i was just wearing come in handy a lot in the summer because they're just stuff that you could throw on be really casual and i find that i wear them and rewear them the most so these are always great to buy i then got these parachute pants because i feel like i have every color except for this one i wear this color all the time i think you can pair it with so many things even bright colors you can kind of like go outside the box with this one it's not your typical black or white, but you can go crazy with mix matching, you know? So that's why I got this color. I really like this pair though. I love the pockets. I just love the way it fits. They're not too loud either. Most parachute pants are like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. every time you take a step, listen. Not that bad compared to others. I also got this headband and I only have one other of these kind of headbands. But I'm not really like a headband girly. Like I don't know. It just I just feel like it doesn't look good on me like it but I got it, and I feel like it would be cute with this fit. What do you think? I have these in a few colors. Do I wear it up a little bit more? I don't know. I don't know. I got this varsity jacket. I love varsity jackets, and I don't have any, which is shocking because jackets are my thing, and I literally have an entire closet just for jackets. And I thought this one would be perfect because it's just black and white, so we can go with everything. It says white fox right here. The sleeve has this little heart on fire, and then the back says 13 because that's when white fox was established. I know I said earlier that I got everything in a small besides the joggers that I'm going to show you. But this I got in a medium large because I like how a bigger fitted varsity jacket looks. So I wanted to go for that look. And I think it's perfect. I think it isn't too big, isn't too small. Perfect medium. If you've watched any of my videos, if you look at any of my photos, you know these are my favorite shirts and they made it in this olive green color. So obviously I got it. These are the best shirts in the world. I've talked about them a million times and I'll talk about them again. The fabric is so soft. It feels like another skin. They're pretty long, which I love. I love that they go long over the hands. I wear these 90% of the time when I go out. They're the best. You have to get them. If anything, just get one and Trust me, in the near future, you'll have it in every color too. But the main event right now are these really cool pants. They have this lacing going down the leg. I think it just adds so much fun to a simple white pant. I understand that this really doesn't go together, but like you, you have to see this jacket. Are you f***ing serious right now? Again, this is the kind of jacket that I've never had and always wanted. I love that it's a little bit more fitted. I would not wear with this outfit by any means, but I just wanted to show you. And last but not least, I got this cute sweatshirt with all the different phases of the moon. My last name is Mooney, so I love anything with moons on it. The front has the moons, and the back says White Fox on it. White Fox has the best comfort clothing. My boyfriend designs clothing, so he has a really good eye for them, and every single time I'm wearing a White Fox sweatshirt, he's like, what sweatshirt is that? Like, it's just the fit, the boxy fit but not too long they're amazing they really got it right on the sweatshirts and then i got just a regular black pair of joggers that i needed when i'm wearing 
wearing joggers, I want to be comfy. So therefore, I always get the medium in White Fox joggers and they fit me perfectly. They're a little loose, just how I like it, but not too loose. And they have a drawstring on the waistband, so if you want to tighten it, you can. It's time to get back into the video, but I don't want you to forget to use code BROOK for 15% off White Fox Boutique and shop my looks. Let's get back into this vlog. Um, I'm sorry. I just came home to this. What? This is so cool i just want you guys to know that no matter what no matter the amazing things that i get to do the amazing opportunities that come my way like all the cool experiences that i get to do in my career i am grateful for every little thing genuinely like this is surreal to me i've gotten designer packages before but like what is that what this is insane this packaging is beautiful and it's these concealer pens I'll definitely do a review on them I'm so grateful I am so grateful and it's for every single one of you that are watching that make this possible and I, I love you so much I'm not one of those influencers and one of those bitches that are like I love you guys and then I'm like to everyone else around me that was so aggressive but just so much love for you guys for the people around me i'm so grateful for everything i'm literally grateful for the sun shining right now like i want you to know that who you see on screen is genuinely who i am genuinely genuinely from the bottom of my heart you can ask anybody that i surround myself with but the low dope me morning guys I, I literally won't shut the fuck up because i'm having such a good morning i'm like telling britney she has to do it like i'm gonna do this every single morning if possible i'm so happy okay i'm gonna shower absolutely positive Yes, right now. I am so happy. And like, I really don't know if it's because it's Friday and I have nothing on my to-do list. Like, I got everything done. Or if it's just because the sun's out. Or if it's because of my low dope me morning. I feel like it's just a blend of everything. And I'm so happy right now. I think I'm going to meditate in the grass. But it is a little bit wet and I did just shower. So I'm going to put a towel down. Huge towel, jeez. I'm so happy. I just feel like I have an extreme appreciation for nature today. Am I sitting on shit because it stinks? Definitely laying on shit right now. Oh my god, I'm so scared to pick up this towel. Hold on. No, we're good there. We're good. We're good. We are good. Oh, I'm so happy somewhere. Come here. Hi, mama. I love you so much. Is this the best day ever? This cat is so obsessed with my mom. Like, she literally thinks that my mom is her birth mother. I swear to God, because we got them at a day old. Or, really, it was like the day they were born we had them. And they didn't have their mommy. We found them. Ow! Don't be fighting with me. So, she follows my mom around. She sleeps with her every night. She's a sweet girl when she's not up and biting your wires and eating your plants you know otherwise i love her okay i'm gonna meditate and i don't want to waste any battery so i'll see you after i literally feel fucking fantastic i'm so zen the weather is perfect i think now i'm gonna do a yoga stretch i feel so connected to nature right now and that's like for me the best feeling in the world i have my dog sitting with me i just feel so good I feel so good. Okay, I'm gonna do a stretch yoga and I'm very excited to flow. Hi, you guys have probably never seen this part of my house before. It's a little scary, but my mom asked if I could put these clothes in the dryer, which is no problem. So I'm gonna do that for her. Fun fact about me, I do not do laundry. My mother does all my laundry and grandma. I literally don't know how to turn this thing on. On, push to start. Why is it not going on? I don't wanna like change any settings that she has. Just got off the phone with mom. I had to turn it to more dry and then start that bitch up. Now I have to go and get Graham some coffee from Duncan. I might bring Penelope, don't tell her because I'm not sure yet. Okay, I didn't bring P because one, I didn't know where she was. She was somewhere in my house that I wasn't gonna go searching for. Two, she did not come when I called her, so that means she was relaxing. Three, in reality, she's gonna fuck up my car. Song, Miley. Miley's new album is everything. No, I, I love this 
Pressure's on, we're in the drive-thru. My grandma gets an ice coffee with no ice. Ordering that makes me look like an idiot. People laugh at me. I'm sweating, I might have to turn the air on a bit. Pressure's on, wait, fuck, what am I getting her? Two ice coffees, light ice. Can I please have two medium ice coffees but take out the ice? Two medium iced coffees, but no ice. Take the ice out. Do you want anything in them? Uh, yeah. Can I have light milk and one sugar in each? I think I just fucked it up. <sighs> I'm gonna have to add some milk downstairs because... I was confused. Uh, light milk? Mom just said light. Like, I think she meant the color light. She usually likes a lot of milk, but I didn't want to put too much. I don't know if light regular milk means, like, like a little bit of milk. I don't understand the order okay Hi, how are you? good how are you thank you no but i didn't want to bother you i really wasn't gonna say anything i was just gonna do it myself yeah, that was giving you the wrong order. thank you thanks so much Hi, you too wow guys i fully almost just let myself go home with the wrong mother drink i am so annoying like i need to start speaking the fuck up i usually do i don't know i just like cracked under pressure just now but this is what grim's coffees look like they're usually lighter than this but i'm, I'm just gonna leave it as is. she could fix it if she wants you know <sighs> anyway back to my like oh my god this song nothing about song should not be allowed this is also my favorite song by her i'm done that one no dream and malibu are my top two by her I'm literally sweating everywhere. Last night I listened for like 15 minutes to sound bowls on YouTube before going to sleep. And that genuinely is one of my favorite sounds in the entire world. So I think I want to order one. But I want to like do some research first. I feel like I'm being cleansed. I hear it like in my brain. If the next time you're listening to sound bowls, especially in real life, but you could do it on YouTube too. Lay down so that both of your ears are exposed. Don't put anything against them. And focus on the sound in your head. And it literally goes from ear to ear. Like it literally is going like this. I'm not even joking. It's fantastic. But yeah, I think I want to order one. I'm also going to read probably the rest of this, I would assume. And then I'm going to start Ugly Love. I'm excited. I've had that book sitting in my room since July. And Amanda just finished it and she has encouraged me to read it. So I'm going to do that one next. Hey, baddies. I actually just ended up editing a big TikTok. It's literally 25 seconds. L-O. An L, why would I say that? There's a hole in my sock. I better take this off before my mom gets home. I don't like to lay on my big fluffy pillows and ruin the fluff. But anyway, I forgot. Oh, I ended up just getting caught up on my phone. I edited a TikTok, posted it, and I also posted a reel. So go follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I post consistently on those throughout the week in between YouTube videos. Now, I am finally gonna get to read my book. <laughs> That's how I feel. Does anybody else do that? Like, like you just have to that's the only way you can get your energy out <sighs> anyway molly is actually gonna come over and we're gonna get vegan empanadas she's coming over at like 6 30 though it's only 3 30 so i have three hours love you oh i'm on the fourth agreement this is my second time reading this book if you have not read this book you absolutely have to have an open mind and read it you have to do it it will change your in life if you let it that's the key the fourth agreement always do your best the fourth agreement is about the action of the first three always do your best under any circumstance always do your best no more no less but just keep in mind that your best is never going to be the same from one moment to the next <sighs> read this book It is such a good feeling though, so I'm not complaining, but I just took a nap.
feeling so relaxed. I was hoping that I would wake up when Molly's done with her class so that we could just go get food right away because I don't want to wait any longer. But she'll be done in an hour. So that's good enough, right? Alright. Oh my god, I have four minutes left of footage. Gotta fix that. So I hey. went to go get the empanadas and I was so hungry and I left my camera home because I was in, in no mood to be talking. So here well, we are at Richie's house. Cheers to being honest. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to stop I'm wrong 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 James I'm because I'm just being out. jotted down. I'm, I'm jotting you down because I don't want to sit anywhere. You guys remember right. earlier when I said something about right the sound right rules? Right. Look at what's right. 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 right in front of me. I'm We're going to do them both at the same time. Sorry, it's the last time. I've just been doing this over everyone's conversation. <laughs> <laughs> no, I swear I'm not. But I want to go like 10, 17. Basically, I'm going to pay for like 100 tickets. 14. <laughs> like, that is unreal, girls. Kids hot fudge on new vanilla ice cream. No, no cherry. No cherry, no mint. No, yeah. okay. Can you get that for me too? Yep. Yeah, I'll get two. Two, 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 of of two kids hot fudge yeah. sundaes, two vanilla ice cream, like only no cherry. Yeah. Wait, am I ordering that? Or are you ordering? I might. I'm going to try it. I can't fumble this. Hi, can I please order something to pick up? Can I order something to pick up? Yep. Hey, can I please order something to pick up? How's your night going? Can we be quiet? Should we just pull up? We might have to. I beef with them right now. <laughs> oh. Hi, can I place an order for pickup, please? Uh, to... We're gonna do the Munchie Mania with waffle fries, cheeseburger sliders, and mozzarella sticks. Small side of waffle fries, and a large <laughs> right down. The kids' classic sundae with vanilla ice cream. But vanilla ice cream, because on the online it said mint, and that can't happen. Can I ask you a question? Can you, hello? Hi. <laughs> Sorry. I have a question. Do you have any gluten-free options by any chance? Um, I don't think so. I think that's normal. Oh, no, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're the best. Do you want anything on that? Fully loaded. Thank you. Oh, these are so good. Oh my god, bye. Yes. So Sorry. Oh, I know. Like this. Give us a Coke review. Whipped cream. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I post YouTube videos every week, but if you want more of me, you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. My username is at Brooke Mooney underscore. My sister, my dad, and I also have a podcast called It's a Mooney Thing. If you guys watched up until this point, comment this emoji in the comments down below. And here is today's subscriber shout out. I love you so much and I'm so thankful for you. Make sure to like and subscribe. It's a free way to help me out. All right, peace out guys love you